Right, so this is the second video on trees. Okay, this one is about how to actually create a binary tree. I'm going to be doing this using OOP techniques. Um, not interested in using arrays, all right, for this. So before we go on to start creating trees, remind yourself about link list. If you remember, we said we had a head node, which was the pointer associated with the actual data structure, points out that first node in the list. Each node contains a payload, which is a data item, and also contains a pointer, which points at the next node in the list, all right? And we knew that we were at the last node because the last node was null, all right? If you remember when we create a list, uh, in the first instance, the head and the tail pointers were null because there is no um, actual node there being stored at the head. And this was the, um, the class that I made uh, to show you that. So therefore, you can see in the constructor, the head at that time is actually null. Uh, because there is no data being stored all right remember that a list was made up of nodes and so therefore we had a list node class where we stored the actual uh, we had a, a data item and we had a pointer to the next item which actually itself was a recursive uh, list node all right uh, when the node was constructed we passed in the actual item of data that we wanted to store and then we um, had a, a get data me a method as well all right so creating a tree then they should be quite straightforward if you think about that yeah <laughs> so because basically we're gonna have a root node okay the root node is gonna have a, a data item it's gonna have a left pointer and a right pointer and then they're just gonna be pointing out further data items okay which would then point out more data items should point out more data items etc okay so my basic tree class is quite straightforward um, it's gonna basically have a tree node <clears throat> root so that's my pointer associated with the actual tree itself and in my constructor you can see that when I created the tree the root itself is going to be null okay and only it's only when I start to add the data items to the tree when I start adding nodes uh, therefore I will then turn that root into an actual node which is going to hold some data all right um, the every uh, tree is made up of tree nodes um, as I have got now a binary tree i need to have two pointers so i'm going to have a tree node left and a tree node right um, and i also have my data that i'm storing at that node um, i'm being lazy here and obviously i've just we're just storing data we're looking at like as a proof of concept obviously if you're going to be storing um, useful data at each node then you would need to store you would have a key and then you would also have your other data um, your other fields as well that you're storing uh, my constructor for the tree node just receives that data item that we want to store and then I'll have a get data class for some reason as a get data method there as well for some reason all right um, there's also uh, in my uh, main tree class I have got an is empty function because basically if the root is null then I need to know that the tree is empty and there are there is nothing there is no tree all right otherwise um, there is some data in the tree and I need to do something or I, I, I can um, insert nodes in other places in the tree okay or perform perform a search etc uh, that's how I've coded it in Java uh, the bottom way is the way I've coded it uh, the top way is just like a direct transference of that um, that algorithm there on the left hand side okay so you should basically be able to now create a binary tree structure using OOP and you can actually manually just add nodes in there if you want um, so root equals new node new tree node etc etc and just follow the pointers and keep adding a couple of nodes to test to see whether your tree works or not